Here we go, Monday, July 22nd. John's show. Eight minutes late so far. Let's look at his fans. Yeah, let's see how much super chats. Good question. Two short, long dogs. Good question. These are his fans, buddies. Remember, John said he never heard of DJ Davils? Well, here he is using his song. Then he says, you and I should go work together. He doesn't realize they're just making fun of his ass. Absolutely not anybody. So... Is how he starts his show. I'm not going to really talk too much about what's going on because my lawyer has instructed me to just not even don't talk. And Dabbling Dan was right. Just don't, don't even mention it. So I'm not going to mention it. Just not going to. So, you know, I don't really care. It's, but I mean, it really is sad that... Uh, that these people want to destroy someone's life so badly. I thought like you weren't going to mention it, stupid. It's kind of bizarre. It's bizarre. You destroyed your own life. Behavior. Like, I, I could never imagine going to the... The lawyer said, don't talk about it, so you're talking. And you destroyed your own life, dummy. Thanks. That these guys go to, on a daily basis, to destroy my life. I mean, the shit way I had somebody go to the Pickwick pub and videotape me while he had somebody parked behind me where I couldn't get out. That's all bullshit. We all know it, too. Somebody else took that video and sent it to Shuli. You dumbass. And I have to go to work the next morning. So it's like... It's sad. It really is. I mean, it's... It's because you bring out the worst in people. You make people hate you. And you're a liar, so... You go with your bullshit again. It's unhealthy, pathetic... Yeah, when it be healthy like you. behavior. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm just A one genius guy. with muscle memory. You know, I don't got a fucking team of clowns to just sit around and watch one guy and point out everything. Look, he's got a book in his nose. Oh, look, he's got a stain on his shirt. I mean... That's because you're the one that point picks out people's physical disabilities instead of using clever banter, which you don't have. <clears throat> Even Howard Stern, who attacked people, yes, he did. But he didn't go after their personal life, for the most part. Of course he did, stupid. I mean, I forgot to make fun of one person because who's way more successful than them because it makes them feel better about themselves. I thought the lawyer said, don't talk about this. And it makes them feel powerful. And you know, the shit wearer has never felt powerful in a shitty... I mean, that's it. That's just, but I'm not going to, I talk too much. Someone said I have diarrhea in the mouth, which is so funny. I, that's something that, you know, I would kid around with the other teachers and say, 
Oh, that, oh, that kid's got diarrhea in the mouth. It's such an East Coast term. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. And uh, when I would talk to the teachers, you know, when there was a student who never shut up. It's an everywhere term, stupid. It's like, it's got diarrhea in the mouth. <laughs> so I do talk, I do say too much. And, you know, it's hard to know the line when it comes to what, you know, it's like, because I'm not a lawyer, you know. I mean, Dabbing Dan is more equipped to, to make those, uh, you know, statements because, wow, he just, uh, you know, he, let's just say he. You're not a lawyer and you don't know how to think. Stop being so stupid and shut the hell up and say something interesting. He, he knows more about those kind of things than I do. But I will, so just on the other thing, which is, we'll forget about that. But just on the constant watching and, you know, like every little thing, the shit way, just, is he that unhappy? Isn't he supposed to be a happily married family man? Yet... His whole life is spending time. We all love making fun of you because you're such an easy target and you're so delusional. You don't know what's what. You know, genius, family of geniuses. You talk about having 165 IQ. Talk about hemorrhoids, how you inherited them from your family. Everyone else in your family has them. And you go on and on with the stupid crap. Of course we're going to make fun of you, stupid. It's fun. Donates six and a half hours a day to watch me, and you all in the pores are like loving it. You love it. I gotta give it Kevin Brennan only because he's the only show that doesn't spend hours watching me. Ellen, Lady K is telling people to call the school and get get me fired again. And listen, you already said you weren't fired and you just, you're not working in school anymore. How can they get you fired again, you liar? All you do is lie. Come on. We're hip to your stuff. Everybody is. Who does that? I'm asking everybody in the boards. Who the fuck does that to one human being? What did I do? Where's a human being? I don't see one. The lady can. And they'll say, well, John... You fucking monster, just do it. Piece of shit. But I know the fact. Dustin knows the fact. My publisher, Rare Bird, knows the fact. So prove it. And Audible knows the fact. And just recently... So prove it. Robert Myers corroborated the story and listened to my book from Carl's Patreon. From the... You're lying again. That might than any of you fucking assholes ever did. But Howard Stern always talked about his life. Howard Stern always said, oh, I went to Kraft uh, for dinner. Or we talk about when we were at scores. Or we talk about, you know, but Howard, we would always talk about the places that we frequented. But we didn't think. Frequented? What is that? John, it's Monday. You're starting the week with the same crap you've been doing for years. So why don't you find a new trade? That, well, it was a different world then. You don't have the shit way a failed wannabe comic watching you every day and trying to destroy any person that you're associated with, any business that you're associated with. I mean, it's absurd. It's unheard of. But you guys are all in it. And you know, again, it's still tip of the iceberg. It's still tip of the iceberg. They try and get my ex-wife on when they know it would ruin her life. You know, thankfully I was able, well, not only me. Why would it ruin her life? You're the one that threatened her if she went on. No one else. I mean, it would ruin her life. Because you guys are animals. You guys are animals. So, 
everybody would rally on Susanna's side. Her name's not Susanna, Susanna, stupid. They would all rally on her side and support her, Hi. which you never did. Excuse me. The, I and then I'm gone. I could, I could make money doing a lot of other things. So go do it. So if I don't make money here, super chats draw it up. I'm gone. Bye bye. So you think you'll think it's great? Yep. For a month or two. We got years of material, you, you stupid. But there's other people out there. You're not the only person. Shit, where is going to go? I don't have any content. <laughs> Lady Case. You're doing this whole fantasy again? How many times are you going to do this? You're going to have both sides of the conversation? Your mental case? Your mental patient? Damn. Go, I don't have any content. And the potato. And the orange. And the corn. I mean, we don't have any content. And then, and then they'll have to find somebody else. Look at this delusional moron. He believes what he's saying. That's what makes it sad. To pick on. But the problem is, there's not anybody more compelling, more charismatic, more talented than me. Now, I'm not saving the whole world. Don't get me wrong. I'm more stupid, more laughable, more insane, more delusional, more mentally handicapped. Than you, that's correct. Saying this fucking dabble does. No one, they tried it with Brennan, the anti Karen show. How'd that go? Didn't go anywhere. Got no traction. People didn't want to see them beat up. It wasn't a show, stupid. It was a song, it was a parody. There was no show. You're so stupid, you don't even get it. On Brennan. Didn't care. But I have stuff. A lot of them. Just bought more today. Dustin knows. Dustin and I talk stocks all the time. I have college funds. I have annuities. I have whole life. Shit where I could fucking sustain for years without this horse shit. You can't. You can't. Just remember that. So why if a super tax drive are you leaving? You need the money, what? So, you guys want me to go away? I'm out of here! If that's what you... Goodbye. Two weeks ago you said you were done and leaving. Next day you were back. You said you were officially quitting. That was it, over. You said you're a liar, you know? We're sick of it. What? Look, I'm, I could handle all the bullying and the harassment to a, to a certain extent. I can't handle it all. Cannot handle it all. But, to a certain extent, but if it comes to where, you know, I'm not making any money doing this and I'm gone. And you all fucking miss me because you're not going to be able to make the money that you... Yeah, hello. Yes, hello. This is, uh... Hi, this is, uh... This is Lieutenant Columbo. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, hanging on. I'm just wondering why you haven't come on yet. Oh, I don't, you know, come on down. You're the next contestants on the Friday's Way. All right, brother. Uh, but, you know, I, I, whatever. Whatever should work. You fucking... You know, and what you're doing is criminal. And, but, but I'm not even talking about that, but the other shit. The other, all of it, all of it. And look, man, I could take a lot. But calling one's job and trying to get somebody fired, isn't that, that, isn't that an act of violence to do it? That's all a fantasy you made up. Come on, we know it. Hey, Lady Kay. Isn't that an act of violence? Please tell me. I'll support out of my ex-wife's hands. That's okay. But God forbid. <laughs> you know. You weren't paying child support for eight months before all of this. Come on. Start telling the truth. I do anything. I even, I even do a 
Copyright strike. 23,000 you owe Susanna. 95,000 plus 21,000 you owe IRS. The list goes on. Come on, we know about it. It's all in documented. Go to the county clerk. You can see it all. Is you for playing a, an original song. And you thought for sure you were right. <laughs> and you weren't. Fuck! You think that I'm going to use my fucking intro music without making sure it's copyrighted and registered? You... Well, it wasn't, and you had to send it in again, and you screwed it up, and then you got it again, you know? But it doesn't matter. The only thing that happened, you had to take down that particular episode and meet, get, not get monetized and take down that clip. No big deal. You didn't take down his channel. You didn't do anything big. Dumb fuck! That's Bob Nelson. Stop doing that. Holy shit! The claw. Have a beer. Life will be better. And now, just like Clay Dabbler said, it's very hard to be my friend. It's easier to be my enemy. Because look what you guys are doing to Rob Soul now. Now it's all about saying Rob Soul deals his dog and all of that bullshit. Bob Levy saying Rob, making up lie after lie and that monster he sits next to is making up lie after lie about a good man. A fucking, an American citizen who works as- I thought you weren't attacking families anymore. Why you just call Gina Levy a monster? You're such a fool. This up at a fucking job, but no, Bob can sit in his fucking shitty house in his shitty neighborhood with his shitty wife. Hey, that's him. He's, he's the one who called her a racist. He not act blue, but I've, I've donated a, a, a lot to the fucking Democrats that I like, so shut the fuck up, you fucking loser. Okay, I'm sorry. Because you, he said you uh, uh, doxed his wife, which I said. Look at John, you can tell he's not listening. Uh, that's nothing I agree with. I know Kevin's a Wait a second, Rob, Rob, hold on, hold on. Kevin, you called my mother a dump. How many times, Kev? You call my sister an ugly Danny uh, DeVito looking dwarf. Why are you insulting Danny DeVito, Kevin? And then I put a picture. I fucking do one thing and I'm the fucking asshole, Kev? Are you fucking with me, Pinky? You uh, fucking hypocrite? Fuck well, off. What? <laughs> well, I mean. Same old crap. Never ends. Listen, there. So, in other words, Kevin can do it. Call me a deadbeat dad. And fucking say that I was sued by my ex-wife, all untrue. And say that I, I had a court order against me, all untrue. And call my mother a dump, but I can't re retaliate? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I'm not saying you can't retaliate. There's just a difference between shit talking. And then he can, then he can be mad at you for doing my show. Look, Kev, you don't own people. There's no more slaves anymore. Private info. Putting up a picture of somebody's not doxing. Stop fucking saying doxing. Yeah, everybody's yeah, everybody uses the word doxing. Sometimes I. Well, I didn't dox his wife, and I said his wife was beautiful. I even told him that in Atlantic City, and he made a joke that I never repeated out of respect for him. Yeah. So he's gonna be mad at that after all the shit and buddy fucking body. And there you know, put pictures up my mother for three months. But I did, I put up a picture of his fucking beautiful wife for about two minutes. And Look at this drunk moron. Jesus Christ. That gives him reason to fucking win. You win. Then you're sitting there watching old. Uh... Freddie, mm -hmm. you know who was incarcerated for not paying child support? Bob, I mean, Bob is, has been a lifelong loser. He, he's balls. He got himself on the Howard Stern show. No self-awareness that he's never done anything. Look, Rob, okay, no, no, and, I've, and I've been doing this a lot only because it says that, right? Thank you. Scam with that. Yeah, Bob, uh, if she told me that. Holy shit. Before her. Uh, uh, 
is, I mean, Vikestan, I, I know my favorite amp is a Marshalls, JCM 800, you know, pre the fucking change. You know, I know I have, my two favorite guitars are my Gibson Special, my Gibson Les, well, my three favorite guitars. Well, I, I have like, I have a lot of guitars, but I, I you know, I like the, <laughs> you know, or Carlos Santana. I, I mean, I mean, the guy is a fucking loser, big time. Just do it. <laughs> but, um, uh-huh. Ghost Crusaders TV, uh, thanks for the dollar. Wherever will I spend it? But you should tell Brandon. You know, you know, I I only did that out of out of because he was trashing my mother and my sister. Uh, hold on one second. I'll be right back. They're not in the double verse. I mean, it was wrong. Pushy Kringle, which has got to be side of me, which has got to be yeah, yeah, I'll light it, and then I'll put it up again. Just do it. Lady K. Oh, Severin John. The only, the only reason I have to... The only reason I have to... I gotta watch Severin John. Because he has an absolute worst podcast. Even worse than Jay Cutsman and Chad Zumbach and, and Joey C. Yeah, okay. Fuck off. Just do it. Please just do it. Yeah. Uh oh, I don't know if you can handle this, Rob. I'm sorry, man. Sorry to do this. Shit. No, I don't know if you can handle. I don't know if I should do oh, this. Oh no! What? Better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Listen, sir, I'm gonna refund you your two dollars because the I mean the the energy- well, that's more than the shit way it ever gets. I know. So, and, uh, and you watch you you watch Brennan, you watch uh, your show, you watch other ones. Every time you go on, it's a different number fluctuating. Man, fucking surely, always 1.2 or 1.4. Always, always. The same, because that's the number you pay for. I, 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 I've worked with this guy that Bob sent to me before. He worked with. Thanks for the twenty, John. Here's a twenty for the pores in the chat. Never fear, I will help you anyway I can. Do you so you don't have to use food stamps again? If there's any left, put it in the lawyer fund for when you're on a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I thought he was going to be cool, but then he started chipping. How old is she? Uh, I don't know. In Levy years or regular years? Well, Bob is about, what, 62, 63? Yeah, I mean, and that's shocking. I mean, he looks like he's like 70 or 80. I know, he does. He looks I mean, he's horrible. Ran out and jumped on his fucking hood. <laughs> and- what was his name? David. Uh, and all of his credit cards 